baby. Why is your heart beating? Who says so? I can feel it. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> Come on, confess. You're afraid. <laughs> of what? Of missing my mother-in-law? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Why should I be? Of course, I've been looking forward to meeting her. Or is she not expecting to meet me? Uh, I was only joking. All my mother wants is for me to bring home a nice girl for her blessing. And thank God I have a very good one by my side now. Please. Hmm? I like your village. The atmosphere is so serene. I told you you would like my village as well as my people. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. How are you? I'm fine. How is everybody? Everybody's fine. <laughs> How about Lagos? Oh, Lagos is fine. Right? I can see that Lagos is sweating all over you. <laughs> no. uh, come. Oh, this is Ivoma, my fiance. The girl I told you about. Ivoma. Ma. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. No, eh? Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, my son. Eh? Welcome. Eh, Giza? <laughs> No. Yes. Uh, come in. You people must be tired after the long uh, journey. Hold on. Hey! Hey! The Lagos are not a... Hey, what? Hey! You came now. You came here, 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 and the Lagos are not a... The Lagos are not a... Thank you. Thank you. to wear this morning. Eh? <laughs> Don't you think that a decent girl should cover up her nakedness a bit? <laughs> Mama, this is night wear. It is meant for sleeping. When I'm ready to take my bath, I will remove it. Whatever it is called or used for, does not matter. It is not the kind of things we wear in this village. Eh? Okay, come. Don't you know that if you wear this kind of thing, and you want to be very down at this point, that the whole village will be looking at what my son is supposed to treasure with his eyes in him. <laughs> Mama, it doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. If you're not comfortable with it, I will find something else to wear.
mama. Is this better? <laughs> mama. Is there another room? Let me join you. Nails like the claws of the river goddess and expect them to be clean. Why not, Mama? I could be to live in my house and I want not the one I will eat, Biko. Not the one I will eat. Ha! Don't worry. I will do that myself. Just go back to your room and paint your face the more. Eh? When I finish cooking, I will bring your food inside and serve you. Oh? for me. Oh. Can you ride a bicycle? Bicycle? <laughs> no, Mama. Oh. I know. I knew it. Eh? How can the daughter of Queen Elizabeth know how to ride a bicycle? I would have asked you to go down to the stream and fetch us some water. But since my son has married a queen and she cannot ride a bicycle, there's no problem. Mama, I don't even know the way to the stream to start with. Why didn't you ask? Did you ask anybody? Eh? Look, there are things you are expected to know on your own without asking. Well, if my son is going to marry you, you have to learn how to live in the village, Joe. Look, life in the village is different from what you do in the city. Oh? Mama, that won't be much of a problem. You know, apart from, say, Christmas and all that, we will hardly be spending any time in the village. Oh, I see. I see. Mm. Mama, mm. there's no need to worry. The next time we're coming home, we we'll come along with a gas cooker and we sink a bottle for you. That is the modern way to live. Don't do for me! Biko, don't do for me. Just go and do those ones for your mother. Here in this village, we fetch our water from the stream and we collect firewood from the bush. Eh? Those ones, go and do them for your mother. <laughs> Madam Modern, now I know your plans. You have planned to come and snatch my son so that you can take him away. But your plans have failed. Your plans have failed. Woo! You will not succeed. Oh? Foolish girl. Kata. The only thing you know is how to paint. And wear nonsense. Hey! Go! How well? Your face and your nails, and wear anything you like. Go. Don't do anything for me, because. Uh. Yoma. There is nothing you will tell me about her. Of course, she's my mother. She doesn't <laughs> hate you. It's just that, like every other mother-in-law, she wants to put you through various tests to be sure that you are good enough for her son. So, 
I know what I'm talking about. She doesn't even give me the chance to prove myself. She detects everything about me. I'm here. That's what matters. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Okay? <laughs> your wife to be we wear and follow me to the church. <laughs> Hi! Christopher! Because I have been keeping quiet all this while and yet you don't want to see the wisdom in my silence and advise yourself. Christopher! Christopher! What, 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 what is the problem again this holy Sunday morning? Oh. What is the problem again? Okay. So, you want them to remove me from Women Fellowship, okay? Huh. I see. Your plan is for them to expel me from meeting in dinner. Hey, Christopher. Christopher. What, Mama? Tell me, what is wrong with my dress? Ah, there is nothing wrong with it, though. There is nothing wrong with what you are wearing. Oh? I know it does not matter to you whether the whole world is seeing your, uh, your exposed backside or not. It does not matter to you. But let me tell you, you will not follow me to the church dressed like this. Mm -mm. You will not. If you don't have a wrapper or something to cover your head, I will give you one. Mama, that is old-fashioned. You hear me? That is old-fashioned. God doesn't look at what we wear. He looks into our hearts. Besides, what she's wearing is what young, upwardly mobile women wear these days. If they like, let them wear drawers. Or Brazier and be walking about in the city. Here in the village, women dress decently. Oh. Wow. Don't be upset with all Mama had just said. But the thing is, we will go inside and see what we can do to change this dress. Then we start going to church, okay? Brother Christopher, good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. Um, what of Mama? I promised to help her fetch some water today. Oh, I see. Um, she should be at the back of the house. Mama said you just came. How is Lagos? Oh, fine. Fine, thank you. I don't know. Maybe one of the girls that helped Mama out with housework. Mm, are you sure? Anyway, I thank God you don't live here in the village. Why do you say that? You don't know. Hey, don't tell me you are jealous over nothing. Over nothing, Nabi. Seriously, Chris, you have to be careful. The way that girl was looking at you, I saw fire in her eyes. She's burning with passion for you. Come on. What's all that talk about? I'm a woman. I should know. Oh, relax. You know there can be no substitutes for you. Huh? Your mother doesn't think so. Just be careful. That's all. Sweet. That is, the wine is hungry. Mm -hmm. But home cooking is certainly the best. Oh. All those face painting girls you see in Lagos and elsewhere are good for everything except marriage, Christopher, oh. except marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, I think that a girl's upbringing is what matters. 
you know, the way she was raised, not where she was raised. <laughs> and I don't agree with you that all girls raised in the village are good, while all the girls raised in the townships are bad. I don't accept that. Uh, your mother wants the best for you. And certainly, so do I. Mm -hmm. uh, because we cannot sit here and watch you marry the ha ha a harlot. Your mother is not a harlot. Then why, then why does she dress that way? <laughs> certainly, no well trained girl puts the type of dress. She put some, yes. That doesn't make her a harlot. Uh, she is only exposed to modern trend in fashion, that's all. Uh -huh. That's where the problem is. You see, Christopher, she is too exposed for you. Now, tell us, how do you think you can control that kind of a woman? Tell us. I don't have to control my wife. I don't have to control her. All I want is a woman that loves me, cares for me, and respects me, not one that I will turn into a slave. Hey! I know that... Those Lagos girls have a way of blinding the eyes of you young men. Mm. But this one has failed. Go and tell her that she has failed, no matter what her name is. Eh? Mama. <laughs> Mama. Why are you bent on ruining my relationship? I will ruin it, oh. I will ruin it. I will ruin it because a woman who wears trousers will one day challenge the authority of her husband. Bam. A woman who does not cover her head to church does not respect God, really? so I will ruin it. Is that all that makes a good wife? Uh -huh. So that's all that makes a good uh -huh. wife. For how long will you people continue to look at things the old-fashioned way, for God's sake? Old-fashioned? That's what you call me. Old-fashioned. You can call me whatever you like, but I will not leave my only son to marry a woman who has spent her whole life painting her face mm. and parading her nakedness throughout the whole streets of Lagos. Really? Maybe not. Going back to Lagos before I lose my, my senses. Christopher! 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 Come here, Christopher! Leave him! Huh? Let him go! Eh? He will only marry that harlot over my dead body. I agree with you. I agree with you. Mas your Nem. Thank you very much for your support. I am there. At least I have a man behind me. I am there. Thank you. Huh? You will not marry her! You will not marry her! I am going to marry a young, home-trained girl for you. Not that big that all the men have seen the inside of her life. You will not marry her. Not, not. All sense. That is how they keep giving people problems. Ah, honey, what is the problem? Listen, if you don't go in there, pick up your bag and follow me to Lagos right now. I'll leave you here. Not before you tell me what the problem is. How can you just come, ask me to pick my bag and let's go just like that? Are you deaf? Huh? Are you deaf? If you must know, I am going through all this. I'm passing through all this because of you. Myself, just because married. of you. Oh, Mama again? Not one of my life. Leave my son alone. Leave him alone, no. Go back to where you came from and deceive other men. Not this one. I am still alive. Oh? Mama. I shall walk. So I have done something wrong by listening to you when you said I should bring home a girl I want to marry. Have I done something wrong? When I said so, I meant a decent girl. Not this retired harlot. Are you, are you, still, are you still there? Huh? Are you still wasting my time? Huh? I am sure she gave him something to eat. Then he will have to vomit it. He will have to vomit it. He must. Huh? He will... Christopher! Christopher! Hey! Are you blind? So, because I asked you to bring a girl home, that is why you went and carried this Obongi. Yohama is not the kind of girl you think she is. It's just that you have stubbornly and consistently refused to understand her. You don't want to see reason with me. But which way trained Ibuge dresses like her if she's not a harlot, Christopher? Chukwamo. Listen, Christopher, your mother has found a way trained girl for you to marry in this village. Instead of this, uh, our hour, because hey. huh? we are living, Christopher. Christopher. We are living. Christopher. We are living, Christopher. We are living, Christopher. Hey. Huh? Look, Christopher. Christopher. Huh? Instead of me to leave you to marry that girl, huh? I will kill myself. Hey. Whatever it is that which has given him, he must for me. Okay, I will have one. Let me be here. Huh? When we have good girls in this village, why is that our hour? Oh, go, my love.
mama. A good day to you. Mm -mm. The day can only be good if what I'm hearing is not true. Hey. Good dear. You are not sounding happy. Is there any problem? One nigga, how can I be start sounding happy with all the rumor in the town that your son brought in another woman to introduce to you? <laughs> Is that it? Whoever told you that did not lie. Eh. Hey. One nigga. So what is going to happen to Nina, my daughter? Tell me. Oh God, dear. Just take a good look at me. Look at me from head to toe. Do I look like a woman who will allow her son to stray into the hands of one city lout? I don't understand you. That is to say, I was not drunk when I came to ask for Nena's hand in marriage on behalf of my son. Well, whatever you want to do, you should do it fast. As you know, her father is insisting that she has to go to higher school before marriage. Ugo, that is the reason why I have come. Uh, I have come to beg you to allow Nena to escort me to Lagos. Yeah. For what? To see Christopher now. Eh? At least he has to start getting used to his wife to be. And what about the woman in his house in the city? Ha! Ugo, dear. It pains me to know that you no longer know what one neck is capable of doing. Eh? How dare she remain in that house after the horror I gave to her when they came? The harlot has since left Christopher's house. Uh -uh. I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> I trust you. I will tell her father when he returns. I was surprised when I heard this. Uh, 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 don't fear, Biko. Eh? Biko, where is my wife? She's inside. Nana! Ne! Yes, Mama! Come outside! Let me finish what I'm doing. <laughs> eh, do it, I didn't come to see you. Okay. Thank you! Ne, Mama, good evening. How are you? Fine, Mama. Come, come, come. Hey. Let me tell you something. Hey! Just start getting your things ready. What you people are like talking in the secret? We'll soon hear it in the open now. Do your own. I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind your mother. I'm going to see your husband. I'm going to see your husband. Good boy. I don't see anything wrong with what your mother has done. After all, we all have been telling you about the same thing. I told you how my mother embarrassed and completely humiliated you, Mama. And you sit here telling me there's nothing wrong with it? Yes, she deserves it. She has to be treated that way. If not, she will think that you don't have anybody to speak for you. Oh boy, listen. That girl is not a wife material. I don't agree with you, Thomas. I don't agree with you. You don't understand Ihoma. You don't even know her. I know her and I understand her. I love her. <laughs> love her, boy. <laughs> Clap for yourself. But now that kind of thing will be kept in his house in the name of wife that you want for yourself. When it comes to playing around, yes, you can play around with the city girls. But when it's marriage, Every sensible guy goes to the village to look for a decent girl to pick as wife. Not all based on my exposed city demons looking for whom to devour. Chris. Chris. The world is changing. But you do not go to school before marriage does not mean that your daughter Nena should not go to school before marriage. Why are you sounding like this, Papa Nena? Why are you sounding like this? Why are you sounding as if we did not spend a single cobble on, 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 on this girl educating her? Eh? Nena has finished her secondary school. Nena has finished her secondary school. Are her mates not in the university? Yeah. Woman, stop misleading your daughter. I don't know what is biting you. What is biting you, Papa Nena? What is biting you? Eh? I am a woman. Nena is my daughter, and I know what is good for her. What does she know about marriage? Tell me! Oh, she will learn. 
She will learn. So you want her to stay until she gets very old and she can no longer attract men for marriage. Eh? And by the way, where will you get money to train her in the university? My brother has promised to sponsor her education. Your brother? Eh? Your brother? Look, let me tell you. I will encourage Nina to get married. Now that a man is interested in marrying, I will encourage her, whether you like it or not. Woman! Well, I really have to hurry now because I'm virtually late for work. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, honey? Yeah? Please come and see who is at the door. All right. What is it? Ah! Mama, what? Ah! You get back to this house. Mama, what is it? You get back to this house, eh? No, 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 good. Please, yeah. Eh? Mama? Mama? Okay, sir. Welcome. Thank you, my son. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. How did you make it so early? We came by night bus. Night bus? Mm -hmm. Is everything all right at home? Uh, uh, there's no problem. Oh. I brought your wife. You what? I said I brought your wife, Nena. <laughs> Mama, what is the meaning of all this? Sit down, this happened! Leave my son alone! Deceiver of men! Pack your things and go! Leave my son alone! Oh. My son has a wife. That is his wife, Mama, Nena. Mama, <laughs> Mama, why are you bent on creating problems for me? I have come to make sure that this blood sucker does not stay in this house. I have come to do that and I am bent on no matter what it takes me, I must do it. Mama, Mama, since you started this whole trouble, I've been keeping quiet. That doesn't mean I'm begging for a husband or I just know what to do. Oh, what will you do? Get the key, get me. Okay, but I'm get the key, me. Oh, you want to beat me up, Opia? You want to beat me up? Oh, beat mama, me up. Mama, Mama, Please, Mama, Mama, come and beat me. Mama, what are you doing all this for? Huh? Stay out of back at this and leave this house, oh. Otherwise, the whole city will gather here for both uh, of us. Go on, on and breastfeed him. Because you are the only woman that has a son. What is it, Seth? Huh? Have I not tried? Oh, huh? shut up. Don't shut me. me up. If you cannot talk to your mother, then leave me alone. Leave her. Let her beat me. You can even join her and beat me so that people will know that I don't have a son. No, Let her beat mama, me. Mama, mama, mama. Let her beat mama, me. Please, please. Nobody's going to beat you up. No. Let her beat me. Uh, let her become. I wonder if I don't have anybody to defend her. Mama, it's all right. Let her beat me. It's all right. Please never leave me alone. Oh, let her beat me. You can go and be that you have to understand. You have to give me a couple of days. Let tensions relax and then we sort it out, okay? Christopher, you are a fool. <laughs> Don't dare touch me. If you can't stamp your feet and tell your mother what she wants, then marry her. Oh, rubbish. There has nobody to defend me. You. If you know what is good for you, you pick up that miserable bag of yours and go right back to where you came from. No, Kisawa! She's not going to leave. She's not going anywhere. See that you? You are not going anywhere. This is your home. No matter what happens, I am still your mother. I have come to neutralize that spell that can 
Nagaraja has cast over you. That's what I have come to do. And I will do it. Sit down here. This is your home. She's not going. Danny, please. Right. Honey, honey, please. Oh. What is it? Just try and <laughs> marry your mother. Oh, I shall leave my son alone. I agree. Go and deceive others. Go. Hey, go, go. Leave him for me. Go. go, don't yes. deceive him. Go. go and deceive others. Bye bye. Go. Mama, have you, have you seen what you have cost? Yes. That is what I have come to do. Eh? This is your wife, oh. You better start getting used to her. Not this Agaracha. Inugo, let's go in. Come. Don't be afraid! Eh? Don't fear. This is your house. You have come to stay. Bayano, get in. Trouble sleep, younger go wake him. Now waiting he dey find, wahala he dey find, wahala you go get you, wahala he dey find, wahala. Oh, Chris, uh, that's one of the benefits of uh, having your mother alive. So take advantage of it. <laughs> so it's all right for Mama to insist on a wife for me without recourse to whether I love the girl or not. <laughs> what is love, Chris? Eh? Don't be deceived. Love is something that uh, you nurture over a period of time. And who even says that uh, you cannot love anybody if really you want to? Good evening, brother. Uh, good evening, my dear. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Chris, now I know you're very wicked, even to yourself. How? God, how can you have such a respectful, dutiful and beautiful young girl as a wife material and yet you do not want Chris? You don't understand, Thomas. You don't simply understand. See, to marry an illiterate girl is like joining two live wires together. Very soon there will be a huge spark that will consume the entire marriage. It's a lie. That is a lie. This girl I'm seeing is not life or anything. After all, what makes her an illiterate? Is it because she didn't go to the university? Chris, those university girls that you see, if you know the kind of things they do, 
even while they are supposed to be married. <laughs> you won't allow your wife to go anywhere near them all. I don't agree with you. Whether you agree or not, the truth will always remain the truth. You know, see Obi. What you know, Obi carry go keep for her when has the deceived himself say get wife. Nonsense. As for me, oh, they brought a wife from the village for me, and I'm not regretting it. <laughs> Chris, marry a woman you can tame. Good day, Mama. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, my son. Welcome, eh? Yes, Mama. How are you? Fine, <laughs> Look, Mama, come and join us at the table. Oh? Your friend has refused to eat. All because I said, that gold digger will not repair she did not see. <laughs> ah, Chris, is that true? Huh? Come on, <laughs> let's go and eat. <laughs> come. What is that? I beg you. Come on, go on, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> My son, you are fighting for the good of your friends. God will also give you somebody to fight for your friends. Yeah, but, but Chris and I have been uh, very good friends. I mean, uh, we have been there for each other. <laughs> <laughs> Take. Take, Take your plate now. now. Uh, That's right, but uh, where's your wife? Oh, baby went to school. Baby said, let me quickly prepare dinner before she comes. She's going to be very tired by the time she returns. I mean, leave all this your old headmaster antics are facing refacts of life. We are talking about serious matter here. You're calling me baby. Baby? That's my pet name for my wife. So why is she not here to prepare food for you then? Maybe late lectures, maybe traffic. I don't, I don't obvio, know. Obvio, obvio, obvio. Listen, I think Thomas has a point here. You're taking this whole thing too far. Look at the time. I mean, just look at the time. Why is your wife not here? Besides, you are not even well. Why? I'm okay. At least I can manage. There's nothing wrong in me preparing dinner for her. She's my wife. You see her? You see what I did? You see how this girl don't turn your head? At least you will not say I didn't want you. I warned you from the beginning. At least I talk her. <laughs> hey? Tom, honestly, I, talk her. I, I don't understand your agitation over nothing. Hey. Yes. Hey. Okay, what do I get for you guys? What do I offer you guys? Drinks? Uh, no, don't bother. We heard that uh, you're not feeling well, so we came to find out uh, how you're doing. Chris, no water. You, you mean you want to stay for dinner? No, thank you. Well, I can't see you guys all because I have something on my mind. <laughs> yes, we know. Yes, we understand. Yes. 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 <laughs> I think I'm beginning to see what I'm talking about. Oh. Hi, Uncle Chris. Uncle Tommy, good evening. Hi, good evening. Um, how are you? How are you? Fine. You're leaving. Yes. 
<laughs> it's very annoying. Well, uh, OB is in, but um, we we have somewhere we are rushing to. Oh, yes. Right. Okay, bye. Bye. A married woman was wearing. Hey? How can Obi give his car to his wife to be frolicking around town in pretense of going to school? I think Obi needs to re examine his position on some of those things. God. Look at the time. Look at the time a married woman is returning home. And Obi is there, deceiving himself, running from pillar to post, preparing food. For her to eat. Me? God forbid though. I can't try it as nonsense now. For me, I will stick to my home trained wife any day. Hey? I think you're right. Hey? How are you? How okay, are you? I'm fine. How was lecture it today? It was okay. Mm. How is the fever? Yeah, I'm much better now. Hey. You never told me Uncle Tom bought a new car. Oh. I'm telling you something. Took the delivery of two days back. Uh, Sorry, I, I didn't tell you. I'm so tired. It's a lie! <laughs> Nana! Nana! Oh, uh, you're cooking. Um, I'll soon finish. Hey, it's alright. Take your time. I'm not particularly hungry. Brother Christopher, you need to eat something. You've been working all day. I know. I know. Then now, from today onwards, I don't want you to call me brother. You know I'm not your brother. Hmm? Mama said you just finished secondary school. Yes. I see. Now, I want you to realize that it's not that I hate you, but you must know that. I know. It's because of that girl. No. It's not that straight. Okay, now you go ahead, finish what you're doing, and come, okay? Trying to know each other, you know, find out a little more. <laughs> it was fun, you know, it was really fun. <laughs> yes, everything is okay. Nice experience, but it is really fun. <laughs> well, thank you, brother, and uh, my regards to you. Raise your mouth, raise your mouth. Raise it. Sorry. Make a deep breath. Take it in. Hold yourself now. Oh, 
I have not come on a routine visit. Ah. Mm -hmm. mm. Something bigger than the cricket has met him in its own. Yeah. This one you are talking in riddles. I'm sure it must be a very serious matter. Mm. It's Nenna, my daughter. Nenna. Mm. What about her? Mm, nothing more than we can handle. Uh, uh, it's just that the other day, I asked her, she said she has not seen her monthly flow. When I asked her, she said Christopher was responsible. Nenna mm. has not seen her flower. Mm. <laughs> So, these children are faster than we think they are. They have already done the job. Is that not what we want? <laughs> <laughs> My sister, mm. as soon as I took a look at that your daughter, I knew she was the fertile type. One touch, one goal. <laughs> <laughs> like mother, like daughter. <laughs> eh? hey. in, my, in my lineage, there is no single barrier. You can say that again. No single one. <laughs> Seeing is believing. Eh? I have seen this one and it has come to me. How? Choku. Eh. Thank you. Eh. Mm. One neck. Eh? Mm. That means uh, Christopher must have to come and do something at once before people begin to notice. Immediately, no? Hey, hey, and the I will send for him to come immediately. This is the greatest news I have and me too. Hey! Good. Finally. Those hawks that call themselves women in Lagos will take their hands off my son's pocket. <laughs> my dear sister. Oh, God. I'm very happy. Oh, God, why? I am very, very happy. <laughs> that was what I said I should come and tell you. You have done well. Mm. It is a very so good So I have news. to leave now. Oh, they very cool. Let's move it now. <laughs> yeah? I will see you later. Oh, uh, greetings. Tell my greetings to her. I will tell her. Tell her I will come and see okay. her. Okay. How? This is homemade. Hey! Do come, y'all, man. Right, eh? Tell my son Christopher to come home immediately. Tell him that if he does not come home now, a lot of things will go wrong in the village. Read what you have written, let me hear. Uh, you said I should tell Uncle Christopher to come home. Immediately, right immediately. Uh, I've written it. Uh. I said you should also tell him that if he does not come home now, there's a lot of things will go wrong in the village. I've also written that one. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm okay. Uh. Tell him that if he loves me as his mother, he should leave whatever he is doing and rush home. Mm. 
come to. Eh? Tell him that it is very important. Now tell him that it is me, his mother, that is writing this letter. Okay, I'll fold it. Why is Mama sounding so desperate? I hope all is well at home. <laughs> Maybe you should tell me what it is that is making you so happy. <laughs> Don't you think that the time has come for us to go and ask for Nina's candy? Is this why you wrote me that desperate letter and I had to leave everything I was doing in Lagos and rush back here? <laughs> Listen, Mama, that I agreed not to marry Homer does not mean I've accepted to marry Nina. Christopher, you can sleep with her, but you cannot marry. Oh, well. <laughs> She told you that. <laughs> ha! Hey! Men are dumber than we think they are. Yeah, well, Nenna is carrying your child. So you better go and do the right thing immediately before people find out and start gossiping. <laughs> She's just a baby. She's only 17. <laughs> Any woman who can carry a child is not herself a child. <laughs> I, I have spoken with her mother and her people are waiting for us. All since up. Mama says you're pregnant. Yes. So, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. Whatever you and Mama want to do. Well, don't you think you're still too young to get married? No. You sound so sure of yourself. But do you realize that there are still so many things you don't know about being married and being a mother? Whatever I don't know, you teach me. Besides, Mama says that God made every woman to be ready for marriage at any time. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes you sound older and more intelligent than your age. Thank you. Well... It's all right. Okay. I have said peace. You, you, you can do wh what you like. But let it be said that I have said my peace. Have you ever supported anything good? Hmm? All you know how to do is to drink and lazy about that song. But I, Madume, married you by myself. Madume. Let me tell you, whether you like it or not, Nen and Christopher 
They must marry. They are married already. You useless man. Look at you. Come on, one couple you cannot bring for food. Eh? Now that we have the opportunity to live like human beings, you are saying, Nen I stay at, Nen I stay at to get married. You useless man. Well, let nobody say, I did not say my piece. <coughs> Oh, we're ready. Oh. May God give you wisdom to stay in your marriage. Amen. May He give you safe delivery. Amen. And give you more grandchildren for me. Amen. May God give you peace. A man with a simple heart and simple tastes. If you love him and take good care of him, there is nothing you will not get from him. Take good care of your husband. Yes. Hold your husband. Oh. Don't allow those hawks in Lagos snatch your husband from you. Bigo one. Oh. God be bless you. Amen. My son. Please go gently, eh? And let me not hear any problem between you and your wife, okay? Right, there won't be any problem. Okay. Well, there will only be problem if she refuses to give me food. Hey, she won't now. She will give you food now. <laughs> she will. <laughs> eh, and eh, Christopher, please, I beg of you. Eh? Remember that Nina is a very small girl. Whatever she does, please have patience. I will, Mama. Thank you. I will always remember that. Well done. Help. Come on. Come on. Mama. Please. Hmm? My dear. Be a good girl. Yes. I respect your husband. Yes. Drive gently, Biko. I will, Mama. Always remember us here. Don't forget us. In fact, I will not, Mama. We will be back home soon. I do. Safe journey, my son. Yes, Mama. Take care of your wife. I will. <clears throat> Always remember to cook for your husband, no? Huh? Yes, Mama, I will. Christopher's sister. Don't mind me. I'm Helen, and I'm your neighbor. I live across the street. I'm his wife. His wife? Yes. I've always thought that you were his sister. And are you not too young to be married? I am 17, and that is old enough to be married. <laughs> well, I'm 21. Well, I'm not thinking of getting married until I'm 26 or so. That's the right time for a girl to be married. But she must have seen the whole world. Well, me, I'm married. Don't mind me. Let me help you. Yeah. 
You don't have a house help. A house help? I mean a servant. Somebody that will help you. No. So what will happen when you put to bed? I don't know. I think my mother will come when the time comes. Eh? Yeah. You're trying, no? As for me, I can't do all this housework for anybody. I guess the only good thing about marriage is the sex. But come to think of it, is it not boring to sleep with only one man when you can sleep with so many? Hey! Don't mind me. My boyfriend says I talk too much, but it's the truth. Anyway, let's forget everything about marriage. You're not in school. No. I just finished secondary school. But I think I'll go back after delivery. Like I told you before, my name is Helen. And I'm in the university here in Lagos. I'm um, Nenna. So, I'll come back later and spend some time with you. Oh, there's my baby. Please. Welcome. Thank you. How was it? Well, the usual grind, but I'll survive. <laughs> did you have enough rest? Yes, I did. Are you sure? Hey, he's kicking. <laughs> does he kick you like this all the time? Not really. Well, if he does, you kick him right back. <laughs> As if he's <laughs> <ball like that. laughs> Yes. Maybe he's practicing. <laughs> hey. Chris. Yes. Uh, I met a girl. She was so nice. She said her name is Helen. Helen? Yeah. Uh, I met somewhere across the road, you know. She helped me. I hope you didn't allow her into this house. Because any day Helen steps into this house, you're packing your things and you're going with her. Is anything the matter? Well, um, how do I explain this to you, dear? You see, um, Helen... Helen is bad news. Bad news? Well, um, she's a bad girl. You know, Helen has slept with almost everything in trousers around this our neighborhood. <sighs> so I don't want you to have anything to do with her. Do you understand? I do. Try and keep away from her, okay? Okay. My baby. <laughs> what do we have for dinner? Um, guess. My favorite? No. No. Your favorite? No. Oh. Alright, his favorite. <laughs> what makes you think is a he? No! Congratulations. Thank you very much. I was much. in school so I couldn't come to the hospital. No problem. Uche told me that it's a boy. Yes. <laughs> I brought this for you. This is for the baby. Thank you very much. And some clothes for you. Ah, yay. Thank you. One of my yeah. boyfriends took me shopping. And since we were about the same size, well. Thank you very much. God bless you. Who is with the baby? My mother. I suppose I can't come in and... <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I know. Christopher told you that I shouldn't come inside. He yes. tells you I'm a bad influence. <laughs> Maybe I am, you know. He is saying that because he has taken his own share. Uh, you're surprised? <laughs> don't worry. That was in the past. He is your husband now, and I respect that. Okay. Don't worry, just chair up. 
Hello? Is there nobody in the house? Oh, Chris, you're back. Welcome. What is this? What are you wearing? Where did you get those? Helen gave them to me. Helen. What did I tell you about that girl? Huh? Answer me, what did I tell you about her? Did I not forbid you not to have anything to do with Helen? Did I not? Christopher, what's, what are you shouting about? Did you not see what your daughter is wearing? Is this how a wife, a well brought up girl should dress? Chris, this is what our mates are wearing. Besides, she's wearing it inside the house. Did you ask her where she got them from? From a girl I asked her to avoid. Calm down. Eh? Somebody gives your wife a gift. What do you expect? You expect her to reject him? Mama, if I give orders in this house, I expect that those orders have to be obeyed. You think I don't know why he gave those orders? You think I don't know you used to sleep with her and now that you're through with her, you, you, you're looking for who to condemn? Uh, Mama, did you see that? Did you see that? Christopher, there is no need for this argument. Because Nena is a level headed girl. And you know it. Uh -uh. What is your problem? I have not seen where she has, where, where, where she has gone wrong. What has she done? Just because somebody's just trying to be nice to her, that, that, that is all. Look, if you have anything to hide, you better say so. Okay, me, Kwanu. clothes and even buy more. He thinks because he married me from the village he can treat me anyhow. Hey, I can't believe that your husband has changed. Better believe it. He's just pretending, that's all. Look, I have decided to enjoy myself. I now see what girls my age look like outside. I will not allow any man lock me up in one corner of the house all in the name of marriage while he goes out to meet other women. Are you sure of what you're saying? Ifunanya, don't be deceived. Men are all the same. I'm sorry, but tell me, what responsible husband will be outside the house at this time of the night knowing that he has a wife at home? Tell me. For all I care, he can decide not to come home. But when he decides to, he should not expect to have me running helter-skelter to cook for him. That is my new stance. My sister, I've heard you. What about the baby? The baby is fine. My mother is taking care of him at home until she returns back to the village. Let me run along, eh? All right, take care. I told you my own. Nobody is going to keep me in that house. Doing Good his night. Own house. Good night.
that a new wolf? Welcome your husband home from work. One comes back from work tired and hungry. My wife is not even here to give me food at least. And you say I'm shouting. But Christopher, I have told you that she went to see her friend. Mama, look at the time. Just look at the time. What decent housewife stays away this late? A nursing mother. Christopher, what are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. I'm not trying to say anything. But you talk to your daughter. Talk to her before I lose my patience. Every time people look for, look for how to... from you right now, you will regret the day I married you. What will you do? Tell me, what will you do? If he... Yes. Are you drunk or something? You should go and ask those stupid women you've been carrying about that stupid question. If I am. If I am. Yes. You think I don't know, eh? Every day you abandon me here to meet other girls outside and come back to lie to me. The car did this. The traffic did that. Listen. From today, just know that there are people to prepare your meal for you. Check him in. Boyfriend Joe. Joe, my neighbor Nenna. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. I think you're the most beautiful woman I have laid my eyes on this year. <laughs> Thank you. And this is his friend, Emeka. Be careful of him. He is the roundest bachelor in this town. Don't mind Henry. It's just that I think it's my duty to keep a lot of women satisfied. <laughs> Come on, we are headed for the club tonight. Why don't you join us? Eh? You people want a husband to kill somebody. <laughs> I beg you. Uh, you're married? Aren't you too young to be married? That makes it better. I could teach her one or two things to teach her husband here. Naughty boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl, don't mind them. They are like this all the time. Uh, let me go. I'm going to the market. All right, baby. Uh, see, anytime you get bored with your husband, just let me know. I am an expert at bringing back romance into marriages. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. All right. Wow. Yeah, man. What I can do with that backside. Yeah, let's go. Girls are good girls, mm, and the city girls are not. Uh, this misconception is causing serious confusion. So many men miss their chances of getting married to the right woman. All because of this wrong conclusion mm, That the village girls are better than the city girls But I know it's not true She could be a village girl It doesn't matter Or a city girl It doesn't matter Good upbringing A well brought up girl Will always make a good wife She could be a village girl uh -huh. 
brothers, friends and loved ones All because of this wrong assumption That village girls make better wives But they forget that only well brought up girls make good wives Good wives are hard to find, you know they forget where are you coming from? That what I said, where are you coming from? You should keep your voice down. It's getting late. Oh, you know it's getting late and you think this is the right time for you to come back from where you went to? Why are you talking like this? You think I'm not getting back late? This is not the first time it's happened and I won't take it again. Why are you talking like this? Did you get me sick? Oh, shut your mouth. Don't talk back when I'm talking to you. If I do, what will happen? What will happen? Nana. Nana, what did you say back there? Huh? What foul thing came out of your mouth back there in the living room? If you're looking for trouble, you will not find it with me. Leave me alone. I am tired. And besides, I have Soji to take care of. Now you listen to me, woman, and listen good. I married you. I put you in this house, so if you don't want to obey my rules and regulations, I'll take you right back to the village where I picked you from. Hey, hey, that is the problem. Because you married me from the village, you think I'm a piece of property you can cheat anyhow. For God's sake, I'm a human being. Is it that slot that calls herself Helen you want to emulate? Huh? You can call her whatever you like. I don't care. Mama, I hope it's not that I made a mistake in marrying that girl, Nenda. How can you even start thinking of that? Eh? Nenda is a nice, fine girl. Fine, yes. Nice. I'm not so sure of any more. Priscilla, is there any problem? Nenda has turned into something else. She doesn't stay at home. The kind of things she wears these days are worse, far worse than the things that made you hate Ihoma. The very people I asked her not to mix with are the ones she stays with every time. How do I explain that, Mama? How do you explain it? Patience. When did you? Oh? My advice has not changed. Then I still a child. And every child likes to go out, especially with children her age. With time, she'll be able to adjust. Oh? It might take time, but I'm sure she will adjust. Rico, where is the Honestly, I'm surprised to hear this. I thought if Maya was different, Especially against the backdrop of your argument that village guests make better wives. I don't know what has gone into her head. She just changed overnight. You know, I've always said that love is what matters in every marriage, not where the woman was raised. Imagine, my wife told me last night that she didn't like the company Nena keeps. Nena. Chris's wife? Yes. How? She says there's this uh, notorious girl in their school with whom she always sees in and out. In the company of some bad boys on campus. Have you discussed it with Chris? No, I'll give him a call and then tell him to talk to her. Okay. I'll see you later. Oh well, boy, take it easy with uh, him. Take hmm? It's going to be all right. I'll try my brother. You. Now you believe what they tell you about. All they want you to be is a breeding machine that will sit at home and wait on them. But when the time comes for you to accept yourself, seek your freedom and enjoy yourself a little, they become brutal and primitive. Don't worry. Eh? Nothing will happen. Bye, 
I almost forget. Mecca said I should give you this and tell you how much he really likes it. He has loads of money and he is handsome. I even heard that he is absolutely wonderful in bed. In fact, baby girl, if not for the fact that I am dating his best friend, I would have had a taste of that dynamite round his waist. Yes, baby girl, don't be deceived. Every woman needs a man that can perform in bed. Cheryl, cool down. Hey! Mba! It's not true. What you just told me is not true, and it can never be true. What is not true, Mama? Eh? What is not true? When I brought back the kind of girl I wanted to marry here, you said no. You rejected her outrightly and insisted I marry from the village. Now, have you seen the result? I still insist. It is not true. Ha! I only came to inform you because very soon I'm bringing her back to her mother. Hey! You go to one now. Do me something. It has not come to that. It has come to that, Mama. It has come to that. You insisted I marry from the village because that is where angels are found. Or is Nena no longer your choice of wife for me? Huh? Hey! Chineke! What is the world turning into? You tell me. Tell me. Hey! People will not be allowed to marry their own choice of wife. This time they are giving them problems. No. This cannot be true. Eh? Yes. Ucho, you are here. Yes, Auntie. Auntie, Sister Helen says you want to see me. Yes. Uh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, yes, Uchi. I'll be going to my aunt's place this evening, and I'm not going to come back until tomorrow morning. I want you to pass the night with Uchi. Eh? Wait now, listen now, eh? Please, eh? I've already told your sister about it. Oh, yeah, please. Okay. Thank you, Lock everywhere. Mm? Don't let anybody enter until I come back, eh? Yes, I do. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Take care of him. Mm. Auntie, good night. All right. Lock everywhere. Good night, Auntie. Okay. Don't worry, relax, relax. Ah, now. Chill now. You don't trust Helen. Ah. Are you sure she's still coming? Or should I make arrangements for another girl for the night before it's late? Let's give her some time, then I'll go and check her home. Her husband traveled this morning, so you know she has to be very careful. Chill. What is getting late now? Papa, don't worry. She is all yours. Mama is just a little village girl looking for some excitement. I beg, oh, chill. Yeah. Well, if you say so. Relax, relax. Are you sure she's still coming? Or should I make arrangements for another girl for the night before it's late? Let's give her some time, then I'll go and check her home. Her husband traveled this morning, so you know she has to be very careful. Chill. What is getting late now? Papa, don't worry. She is all yours. Mama is just a little village girl looking for some excitement. I beg, oh, yeah. chill. Well, if you say so. Mm. If you say so. Relax, relax. Baby girl! <laughs> oh man, you're looking so sweet. I don't like what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Just call me, just relax. Oh my baby. Oh yeah. this is good. You almost told my heart to panic, you know. I'm sorry I'm late. I <laughs> you know the baby and everything. Just it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right. Come on guys. Let's go burn down the star. Let's go, let's go. 
She's a criminal. She's not! Uh, you can come to the station and tell us that. Move this phone. Oh, okay, okay. Please, officers, let, let, let me let me phone the husband, please. You better do that fast okay. before we take them away. Nina. Nina, I want you. I want you, but you wouldn't listen. I begged you to stay away from Helen, but you refuse. Eh? I'm just coming in from the village. Please come to Lake View Hotel now. It's urgent. Obi, give me an idea. What, what happened? Can, can't you talk? Uh, please, all officers, you will have to exercise a little patient. The husband is on his way. Let him meet us at the station. Obi! Ah, please. You called me. What happened? Nana! I and Grace actually came to see the manager in respect of uh, her project. Yes. Only to meet your wife and these people. I'm shocked myself. Nana, what, what's the name of this? Uh, officer, the husband. I see. Uh, Mr. Man, your wife here was caught hibernating with these criminals. Who have been on a wanted list for drug related offenses. Drugs? Yes. Chris, I'm sorry. I, I can explain. Sorry, you, won't. I... you won't. Because you will never step this your wayward feet into my house again. You will never. How could you? Move, my friend. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's the best wife Chris never married. You are mom. What are you doing here? Oh, my husband owns this hotel. And what is the matter with Chris? It's a long story. Well, so how are you doing? I'm fine. I can see that. <laughs> Hi. So, where are you going? Let's see, man. Thank you. Thank you. Why? Why did you do this to me? See where you have led me to. You will never understand. Mine is a long story. A story of hatred and distrust. A story that I will never live to outgo. So, so you think I'm talking about that fucking nonsense? You foolish girl, stay there and let Amado Harus you alive. Papa, just, just spare me the agony. Which agony? So, getting married is now agony. You mean getting a husband is now a curse? Okay. How is it? Papa, I'm not getting any married though. Eh? Let me finish school first. Come and stay here and talk that rubbish, you foolish girl. Who will pay your school fees? Tell me. Since your wicked mother committed suicide, I've been struggling all alone to take care of you and your younger sister, Uche. Now that somebody wants to come and help me by marrying you, you have started proving stubborn. You've started proving stubborn. Helene. Mm. Papa, just consider me. Eh? Next month I'll be 16. Eh? I'm too young to be married. Ah, you are too young to get married. But you are not too young to play around with all these village boys. Look, 
Helene, you must marry Isikak before you end up getting me unwanted pregnancy into this house. You hear me? But Papa, I'm not following any boy, so. And I don't love Isikak. You don't love Isikak? Just look at this girl. You don't love Isikak? The whole of your mates in this village are married. Chisa was 15 when she got married. Adego is now 17 and has two children already. Two days ago, I attended uh, 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 Kachi's wine carrying ceremony. And I don't know what you are doing here. You are 16 and you don't like to get married. Let me tell you, you have limited time to stay in this compound. Um, um, Ute, please come and buy me tobacco. Now, we will see who owns this place. I'm not getting any married. Uh. That was how I got married to Isika. Yes, Lenny. I was married. But... We do now. Helen, you have to return to your husband's people. You know I don't have anybody to help me take care of you. Papa, I am not going anywhere. Isikaku's brothers took everything their brother had and threw me out. They even said I was responsible for their brother's death. Papa, I am not going anywhere. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've had enough of you. Now take your things, go back to where you came from, and don't let me come out here and meet you. Wrong conclusions. 